I'll share how to communicate in Blackboard for your in-person class. Here's just a basic sandbox shell of traditional Blackboard or Blackboard Learn. One of the best methods to communicate with your students is through using the announcements page, which if you don't touch anything in Blackboard, that is your landing page. That'll be the first thing in Blackboard Learn that your students see. And all you have to do is create an announcement, give it a title, write any important things students should know. You can share pictures, you can show videos, give them insight. We suggest communicate once a week so students know what's going on in class, share what the game plan is each week. And the greatest feature of this tool is that you can send a copy of this announcement to everyone in your class. So not only is it the first thing students see when they log into Blackboard, they'll also receive an email because you send a copy to all of your students. This also works in Blackboard Ultra here on the side where you can do an announcement. The nice thing about Blackboard Ultra is the fact that it shows up as a pop-up when students enter their class. So just hit a plus sign and it behaves the same way as traditional Blackboard. Give it a title. You can even tell it the like, recipients and then you can either schedule the announcement or send a copy to students so they receive an email. So pretty similar, a little different because it's not the landing page, but it does provide a pop-up when students enter the class. Another very important feature is you can actually send an email through Blackboard. It might not be one of the default options on the side, but you can add that tool or just go to your course tools. I'm just gonna scroll down to course tools and then there should be an email option, send email. And then these are all of your options to email your students. You can send an email to one student and this will keep a log of any communication that you have your, with your students via email. You can do it the old fashioned way, but this also logs in Blackboard. Uh, there is a messaging option. I am not a fan of the messaging option in regular Blackboard, but I love it in Blackboard Ultra. If I go away from here, along the top in Blackboard Ultra, there's messaging and it behaves pretty similar to the announcements feature Blackboard Ultra. Hit a plus. And then these you can cater to students specifically. You can add a name, all course members, all students, all instructor or specific student. And then you can send a copy. You can also give options to interact so they can respond to this. And also when they first log into their Blackboard Ultra class, it'll give them a pop-up that you have a message, but you can also have it send an email. Another great feature in the newest version of Blackboard Ultra is if you have a content area, in this course, I called it course materials. You can turn on an option to have class conversations. It defaults off. So all you have to do is click it, hit save. In this content area, you just put any content you want, read this book, watch this video, read this article, and students can click that icon, or you can be the person that facilitates that conversation, that sidebar conversation, and just simply put, you get the all the entire menu bar any questions on this week's content then students will receive a notification in the content area so it this will flag that they have a message so if i go to student preview mode and we go to module one there's a little indication that there is a communication on this content page and students can click on it and then interact a sidebar, ask questions, like an office hours type deal, or the students can engage each other and talk about the content on the side if anything is interesting. So this works great if you're in an online class, but awesome if you're in an in-person class, because those conversations can continue after the course is done for the day. They leave and they love what you talked about. They love the content. They can continue the conversation and you can facilitate any additional chat here or even assign in-class participation for them to continue to talk about a material item.